out of this was definitely coach miles and, and glenn um i mean that's that's a it's an in-state rivalry obviously and um i mean it's just a big time win for us um so i mean as a, as a team it was it was just big time for sure yesterday that if you guys happened to get out to a big lead that you knew creighton would make that run they did toward the end of the first half and then you kept an arm's length the rest of the way how did you do that how important was that uh, i think that was just um because I mean, we did the same thing in Minnesota, so I think that's something that we focused on in, in the one day between games that we had to, uh, to, to prepare for Creighton. So I think that was just a, um, a credit to the coaches on that. Hey, James, you guys started out pretty fiery, and you hit a couple shots early. What, what was the feeling like in the locker room before the game and kind of the beginning of the game? It seemed like you guys really wanted this one. Um, definitely before the game and, and all week in practice, um, we've just been locked in and focused and Today, we were just so hyped before the game. We were just ready to play. And um, it really showed in the first half. James Thomas had probably the best game of his career here. How important is that for him to step up in that moment uh, when you guys kind of needed that offensive period? Um, first of all, I think the best is yet to come for Thomas. Um, today was just a, a, step, a stepping point in helping us get that win. And we always preaching to him, you know, be more aggressive, be more aggressive. And today, I guess it finally kicked in. He definitely. Led us the first half, basically. What was it for you in the first half that allowed you to get going? Was it anything specific, or did you just kind of feel like you had? Kind of um, well, for me, like last night, like I, like I didn't sleep. Then my dad, um, he's here as well. He, he hasn't seen me play here since the since the Kansas game last year. So you know, then my mom, she couldn't um, make it because my uh, youngest sister had school. So I, you know, I was just just you know just playing for my dad. And my mom and stuff today. Are you gonna make him come to every game now? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I stay. I stay a little too far for that. At what point did you guys realize, you know, we can open this lead back up again? Because in Minnesota, you know, obviously, kind of went the other way, but you guys finished really strong, one by nineteen. Like, what was kind of the switch for for any of you guys? Um, I think I think the one thing we did differently beside between here and Minnesota is that we stayed at aggressive. Uh, Minnesota, we kind of started to coast. We started um, running our offense slow, and I mean, obviously, you're not gonna score score much doing that. So uh, all five guys on the court were just being aggressive, and um, we're just attacking them. Anything else, guys? Guys, what was okay. Sorry. Uh, any of you, what was it like in the locker room after that one? What was the, the feeling, the energy like in there? Um, the energy was great. Um, we definitely wanted to get the win for, like you said, Coach Miles and Glenn. And um, this was the first time I think they'd be creating in a long time. So um, we just wanted to cut, um, come help and contribute to that. So um, we definitely was happy in the locker room, but we still know we got to take care of business. This, this, this one win not going to get us to the tournament. So. Say that again. I think the crowd was kind of feeling what you guys were as well. That uh, that really won this this specific one. Oh yeah. Um, actually, I'm not sure, but this might have been one of the best crowds I I've had played since I've been here. Since I've been playing here, this might be the best crowd. I just want to congratulate uh, women's volleyball. I I didn't see they won, but I heard, and I I think uh, we're in a timeout. And it sounds like that. Coach Cook and the crew got it done, so congratulations to Husker Volleyball and Amy's team, too. So we got the trifecta today. Sam, uh, how meaningful for you personally is, uh, is getting this win? Well, it, it's, it's meaningful. Um, like I say, I won't be happy till we get 13 more, uh, but we had to get it. You know, I mean, uh, and this, kind of, this is the kind of team that should get it. And I thought our guys were really locked in and played a great game. Tim, there's going to be a lot talked about with you and beating McDermott for the first time, but how much, you know, a lot of your guys played really well. Yeah. Like how, how much of this game was them just kind of taking over and kind of Yeah, winning? I mean, you, every guy made these huge plays. I think when you look at, 
you know, and you start James Palmer coming out, shooting the ball so well. Uh, Isaiah and Isaac did what they always do. You know, they're super hard to guard. Uh, then you look at Glenn, and, and I was so happy for Glenn. He played really well, did some really good things. Uh, and then look, Tom Allen was like he was shot out of a cannon tonight. He was really playing quick and hard and fast, and, and it reminded me of the Kansas game last year a little bit. Nana Kenton with a hustle play, Tanner Borhard, Brady with offensive rebounds, saving possessions. Those were all real, like every guy that played. And we're down a man. Amir Harris is ill, and I don't know when we're going to get him back. Um, and so he's got, um, we're treating him for strep throat. And um, so, you know, as you look at this, I, I thought just every, every guy was locked in and, and played tremendous. Jim, well, how, how important was um, Palmer? hitting those threes early, maybe from a psychological standpoint, just getting, getting going early. Well, James is a playmaker, and the bigger the stage, the bigger the performance. He was terrific, and it didn't surprise me at all. But he needed to get going, and, but he's, he, nobody works harder at his game than James Palmer either. So I thought he, you know, he took some pretty good shots, then he took some deep ones, but you know, sometimes when you're feeling it, you're feeling it. And he... Uh, yeah, you know, it was really important. And then the second half, you know, he just didn't fall in love with it. He did a good job driving, finding other guys, uh, and getting fouled a couple times. No, you know, and that's what James is best at. So when he can, when he has the ability to hit you inside and out, he's a tough guard. From the team, from the team standpoint, was that important? I mean, did, did, the guys did, would probably oh, answer that. The guys would probably answer that better than I would. I mean, uh, but for me, in running our stuff, it's a, it's, it's like. A, you know, you got a free pass on stuff. Like when he gets going, now you can start saying, okay, here's how we can, you know, counter that or get some other guys going. Or if, we, if they know James is here, we know they're going to hop out on him and we can get, get him somewhere else. I mean, I'm not going to give you my game plan. So, so uh, but, but Palmer is, is just a, such a difference maker. That was huge tonight. Tim, uh, kind of late in the game, you guys were up by 11, I think it was. The shot clock was running out. Allen missed a three-point shot, and if Creighton comes up with the rebound, they have a chance to get into single digits, but Roby came up with the rebound and passed it off to Coleman who hit the three. That sequence there, how uh, significant was that, you think? Well, every, sequ every sequence with Creighton is, is vital because they've got so many offensive weapons. So that was huge. And Copeland's done that more than once. You know, he did some stuff at Clemson too. Uh, and Isaiah is, is, you know, I thought he played very strong tonight. And when he plays like that, he's, he's really tough to handle. So um, that was a huge sequence. But, you know, for me, um, First of all, I want to credit our crowd, I guess. What a festive, great environment. It was like a big party. And uh, it was a lot of fun and a lot of fun to be a part of. Any good idea about what this rivalry means to the fan base? Uh, just feeling the energy in the arena today and just how electric they were throughout. I mean, did you get a pretty good sense of... Yeah, I'm just so happy for, for you know, our, our program and our fans. And... Um, uh, much has been made about it. And, and today was a, a great Husker day, that's for sure. You look a little disheveled. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, I was sweating so bad. It was just ridiculous. Change your shirt, too. Well, Herbie. I mean, we got to. Greg described it, you, you guys as a veteran team that was desperate for a win. Were you, were, would you say you were desperate for a win? I, I don't. Um, I thought. So, in the pregame, uh, in warm ups, uh, Mike Lewis came in when uh, the guys were there, and he goes, they're either nervous or laser focused. And I think we know where they were. They were laser focused. Coach, what does it say? I mean, Wednesday was a tough loss to swallow. What does it say about the team's mentality? It's kind of a short memory to go out and play like this after one. Yeah, day. Thursday was a difficult day. You know, we came in, watched film, and and you know everybody was really disappointed. And then we're like, okay, we're gonna do the Creighton prep, and then looking like, oh my goodness, <laughs> like oh. And but they gutted it out. We went out and practiced for about an hour, hour fifteen, and. And you have to credit them, like, for just getting back on the horse because that was a tough loss. Tim, what was the uh, background on the <laughs> double tech? Uh, what were you in the I don't know what the refs were doing, but I'm always confused by those refs. <laughs> Isaiah told us yesterday that uh, there, were a lot, there were a lot of talk in the locker room this week about winning this for you and winning this for Glenn, and then Tom Allen said something like, well, let's win it for us. Yeah. How much did you see these guys play for each other tonight? Um, a, a tremendous amount. You could just because every guy made plays, 
you could see they were all playing for all the right reasons. And, and they were playing for a Husker victory. And that includes them, and that includes me, and that includes our fans. And, and that's what's really important is that this is a team that identifies the right things. And, and they're really a tough – I mean, I, I mean, I've told them at the beginning of the year, I feel like we can beat anybody we play at any time, anywhere. And, and that's not always the case. You know, sometimes, you know, like we might need an act of God tonight to get a win. And, you know, maybe you do, but usually you don't. Uh, but with these guys, I just feel like um, they've got a lot of versatility and a lot of um, we can do enough things. And it was just a lot of – today was a lot of fun. You know, I said a lot of nine times in a row there. But at the same time, it was a, it was a good Husker victory, and I'm, I'm proud of our guys. You guys have focused a lot more in terms of shooting more threes, and that's worked some games and it's not worked some games. Were you – Surprised that Creighton was so willing for you guys to take threes, and what's it say that you guys are able to win a game by making however much you might? I think you shot 50% from the. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know that uh, anybody was willing to give us anything. I think that um, our guys shared the ball pretty well. I think our assists were uh, decent. I think, yeah, we had 15 assists on 32 field goals, not bad. Um, and when you look at things, uh, I, I, as you share the ball, I think you're more likely to get that open rhythm shot. You have a favorite part from today? Favorite part of the day? Yeah. Did you uh, have a favorite part? I not really so far. You know, I mean, um, uh, <laughs> um, there might be a cold, cold course light at home though. Um, but um, uh, but at the same time, uh, I'm just proud of the guys. Like I, I guess what I most I thought what was cool was every guy stepped up. I, I could single out kind of individual plays that everybody stepped up for the good of the team. I felt like everybody had like a 50-50 ball where they, that yeah. they came up with too. Is 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 that something that you can? Pinpoint going forward. Because one of my keys at the beginning of the game was win, the, you know, win the 50-50 balls. And you know, like against Texas Tech, we didn't. And uh, I didn't think we did against. Uh, well, it was somebody else too. I didn't think we did a very good job of. Uh, it might have been Clemson, but um, either way, we have to come up with those loose basketballs. And it's a that's about attentiveness and feel and 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 then attention to detail, right? Sam, do you, do you have any comments specific to breaking through against McDermott? No. I mean, I'll be happy when we get 13 more. But, I mean, it was a great day to be a Husker. But other than that, we just march on because we got a good Oklahoma State team. And then Fullerton went to the NCAA last year. And Brad Bigler at Southwest, my former school, like, I don't trust that game for the Lincoln. You just have to stay. I'll probably enjoy it on the golf course, you know, uh, out of at a Lincoln Country Club or Firethorn or something like that. But, but uh, not till then. You said you like to assess your team after 10 games. You guys have now played 10. I know that just finished. Well, I need but... more time to assess them. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Do you feel okay about your team? Uh, uh, you know, I don't know. We still got that Minnesota game hanging out there that I felt like we did. You know, we just didn't guard the way we could. And so we still need to clean a lot of stuff up. Thank you, guys.